Hey everyone. In this video, I have a Jackery Explorer 1000 power system. This tool is a portable battery that promises to give you 1000 watt hours of energy. Let's take a look at it. Here's some specifications on it in case you want to take a look for yourself. It's like the 12 volt adapter for charging maybe yeah because this is the input cord and there's a 12 volt cord so i think that was for charging and you got your power charging adapter here another box Parallel adapter for solar panels. So you can connect two solar panels to this thing. Interesting. It feels kind of heavy, but manageable. Let's see how much it weighs. Putting this scale a little bit over 22 pounds. So here are the inputs. Gives you three power outlets, which is pretty nice. 12 volt outlet, USB C. Let's see how much charge it's got in it right now. According to this, it's 37% coming out of the box. So here's the instruction manual. Comes with a uh, warranty. Here's some estimates they give you on how long it can run. One of the stats that I find most interesting on its factory rating is that it says it has a 2,000 watt surge capability and could deliver 1,000 watts of continuous power. But one of the advantages that you get with a battery system like this over, let's say, a uh, something like a, like a gasoline-based system is that you could charge this up using different power sources. You, it, so you don't really need to have a steady supply of gasoline. Uh, if, you, if you could get your electricity from another place and keep this thing charged... Uh, you could perpetually keep going. And another nice thing about this system is it's quiet too. So I did another review on a uh, gas generator, a gasoline power generator, and that thing was pretty noisy, about 60 decibels. Uh, but this one would be silent. So if you're stuck in a grid down situation, you may not have a power outlet where you could keep this charged. Uh, obviously, because you would be using it where you don't have power. You need a way to keep this charged. Uh, you may not have a steady supply of gas, either gasoline or natural gas, whatever your other combustible generator runs. Um, but you need to keep this charged. What better way to do it than to use the solar panels? So I got the solar panel that Jackery brands or, or they, they produce, whatever. And um, this one's uh, sort of like the recommended one to come with the Jackery 1000. And there's, there might be better solar panels out there that are more efficient. You know, you could probably get from a different manufacturer. But um, the reason I chose to get this solar panel was because it comes with the hookups and everything. And it's, it's pretty simple to use. 
if if you don't want to get into uh, the whole details of rigging up your own power system. So I think this is probably a pretty good setup if you're, if you're kind of uh, getting started in this and uh, you just don't have the time to go about building your own system and getting your own batteries and figuring out what the best solar panels are. So let's take a look at, so let's take a look at this. Same card that came in the big battery box. And uh, here's your manual. Specs, in case you want to read them. Okay, so this is like a stand for it. and here are your power plugs so what I'm very curious about is when you have a nice full sunny day like today how long will it take you to get from 35% to 100% charge I'm going to test that and find out and today isn't just any day of the year Today is the summer solstice, so we have the most sunlight that we will on any other day of the year. So it seems that all I gotta do is plug it in and it should charge to start charging. Okay, we'll see how long this takes. The time right now is 12.38. It's at 37%. Let's see how long it takes to get to a full charge. Okay, so now we're under a cloud and the power all, went all the way down to five watts when it was at 75 when we were having full sun. So this may not charge very well when you're in overcast type of weather. All right, it's uh, 1.38 right now, so it's been an hour. Uh, I just moved this to a new location because I was starting to get some shade from the trees where it was previously at. Uh, now in the full sun, we're doing about 60 watts. It's at 42%, so we're going at about 5% per hour right now in full sun. Okay, so it's now about 2.50 in the afternoon. And we are at 49%, still doing 60 watts in full sun. So we're keeping on track with about 5% per hour or so, maybe a little bit more than that. So that means that if you had a uh, 10 hour day of sunlight with full sun, full intensity like it is right now, you could probably get about a 50% charge out of this for an entire day with one solar panel. That's probably why they give you the uh, connector to have uh, a second one because they probably know that you could only get about 50% on a good day like this. Luckily, I do have a second solar panel. It's a 60 watt solar panel, also from Jackery. And not quite as big, not as powerful as the 100 watt that I have out there charging it right now. But I'm gonna to try to add this and we'll see how much it accelerates our charge time on that Jackery 1000. in there. Nice exterior bag. Here is a 
60 watt panel. Okay, so I have this uh, two panel adapter. And see, this is the reason that I like using the, um, why initially for this setup, I wanted to go with uh, the tools from Jackery is because they got all this set up for you and I, it saved me the trouble of researching all of the things I need to set my own custom configuration but that's something I could probably migrate to eventually is figuring out what type of parts I could use to supplement these solar panels that might even be better so one of the changes that I could make is I think this is a monocrystalline solar panel and I think if I upgrade to a polycrystalline that would be a better setup so that's something that I can research and investigate later on but as far as just starting out I'm giving this a try and seeing how it works. One of the interesting things about this particular solar panel is it comes with this adapter here where it looks like you could directly connect uh, USB to it so that's a nice little feature you you may not need to charge up your uh, Jackery power system, your battery system, if you could uh, connect a different type of uh, device to this directly that could charge on solar. Interesting. So I just connected the 60 watt solar panel and here we're getting about 45 watts. It's uh, full sun right now. And uh, right now I just have the one connected. I'm gonna connect the 100 watt solar panel to this again okay so now I have both solar panels connected and we're doing about uh, almost a hundred watts mostly like 90 95 watts and uh, we're at 50 percent it's about three o'clock right now we'll see how much of a charge we could get by the time the Sun goes down So it's now a little bit after 7.30 and as you see the power output is or the power input is dropping on the solar panels and uh, I try to reposition the panels themselves but uh, I don't think it o could overcome the sun just hanging lower in the sky and not getting as much light to them. Okay so now the uh, sun is setting and is below the tree line and there is barely any power input coming on the solar panels, just a few watts. So this thing is uh, almost done. I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit, but uh, I don't expect to get much more charge out of it today. So i like to conclude this video by saying that from charging this thing up from noon to about seven o'clock in the evening, on a summer day with great sunlight we only got it up to about 80 percent i really think that if you want to charge up your jackery 1000 in a single day or single afternoon you're probably going to want to have more than one solar panel just because a panel is rated at 100 watts or 60 watts doesn't seem to mean that you're going to always get that maximum amount of output at any given time you're more realistically going to get probably about 60 percent ish or so of that rating even in full sunlight conditions so that is something to consider well i hope you found this video useful and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, leave something in the comments like this video and maybe i'll be producing more content review content like this so I'll see you in the next video.